have three children. They mean a lot of work. Cooking, sewing, housework, washing and ironing. But it's a real job and brings lots of fun. Ah, here's Molly Lawson. After waiting for years, she's expecting her first baby. How kind of her to bring me some apples. Good gracious, what swollen ankles. I wonder if she has seen her doctor or been to the antenatal clinic. They used to impress on me the need to attend regularly. And every time they did the same tests. My feet and legs were examined, particularly for swelling. My hands were looked at for the same reason. As well as a general examination, my blood pressure was always taken. My weight was checked. And my urine carefully tested. On this occasion, when doctor was taking my blood pressure, I asked him why it was necessary to keep repeating these tests every time I came to the clinic. Because we want to find out if you're suffering from a condition known as toxemia of pregnancy, which is peculiar to pregnant women. Five mothers in every thousand lost their lives in 1900 in Great Britain. Now observe the improvement that's taken place over the years. Today, the figure is roughly one per thousand. Eighty babies of every thousand born in 1930 were either stillborn or died within a few days. And about 40 are lost even today. In 1900, conditions were very different from the present time, and childbirth left a sad face on too many homes. Primitive sanitation was common. Medical and nursing services were poorly organized. The young mother was too often left to the dubious care of Mother Gamp. Homes have a happier face on them today. Slum clearance has been wide and sweeping. Education and a higher standard of living have led to a general improvement in hygiene. But above all, Far-reaching advances have been made in all branches of medicine and a constantly improved medical and nursing organization has been evolved to care for the pregnant woman. Mother Gamp has gone and her place has been taken by the highly trained midwife with all the resources of the maternity service behind her. The family doctor is available to help the midwife to treat the mother in her home and to use his skill in selecting cases needing hospital care. The local clinic provides antenatal care and relaxation classes with mother craft and infant welfare sessions. The flying squad is ready at any hour to meet obstetric emergencies in the home. Finally, the hospital service provides specialized care to all those needing it. But of every thousand mothers, Approximately one is still lost each year, and of every thousand babies, nearly 40 die. Toxemia of pregnancy is the principal cause of this loss of life. Now, what are the points about this condition? At first, the mother does not feel ill. The doctor, however, can find signs which warn him that the condition has begun. Weight increase is usually sudden. Swelling or edema is commonly found in the feet or hands. It also appears on the abdominal wall and in the face. The blood pressure level is a reliable guide. Later in the illness, the normal function of the kidney is disturbed. Those mothers who are unfortunate enough to develop severe toxemia may spend many weeks in hospital before the baby is born. After a while may come severe headaches, eye symptoms, abdominal pain, vomiting, and even fits. These fits are most harmful to mother and child. To avoid their onset, complete rest in a darkened room and intensive nursing and medical care is required. Drugs are administered regularly to quieten her, to lower her blood pressure, and to prevent the onset of fits. 
nourishment is given directly into a vein. If the condition does not respond to treatment, labor may have to be started artificially, or pregnancy may even have to be terminated by caesarean section.